This video is sponsored by Vitafusion Gummy Vitamins. Ooh, you know if we're starting the video off in the bug, we're starting it out right. And you can start your day off right too with the sponsor of today's video, Vitafusion. Vitafusion is not your average gummy vitamin. They're the number one gummy vitamin brand in America. There's no artificial flavoners or sweeteners, no gluten, no high fructose corn syrup, and no synthetic dyes, unlike your uh, favorite childhood gummy snacks. Not only does Vitafusion make delicious nutrition for all, but they also just planted over 200,000 fruit trees. They're continuing their effort to make delicious nutrition available for everyone this summer by partnering up with the Fruit Tree Planting Foundation, which they're working together to plant trees in underserved communities. Fruit tree isn't about a certain amount of trees or the tremendous impact that they've had from an environmental perspective. It's just about giving people help. Vitafusion makes staying healthy, fun, easy, and delicious. I mean, I can't really stop eating these myself. More fruit trees leads to more access to nutrient-rich fresh fruits and better air quality. Vitafusion makes staying healthy, easy, and fun with delicious taste in an enjoyable form. Give them a try today. Now back to your prepaid programming. So I came to a familiar campsite here in northern Minnesota. This is the first time the bug has made it down the uh, Gunflint Trail. Got ourselves a little fire pit. Came to this spot because there was crayfish here last time and I have a recipe idea for crayfish. So we're gonna get the trap set, maybe cook up some dinner. I'm kind of kicking myself right now for not bringing firewood. Maybe I can scavenge some stuff up around here though. So this right here is a crayfish trap, maybe, as you can tell, I didn't make it. Essentially what happens, the crayfish swim in up here, they go down through this hole to eat the food, and then hopefully they can't figure out how to get back out. Really hoping that they're still here. It's been a whole, almost two years now since I've been here. All right, went down to the water, checked to see if there's gonna be crayfish. Didn't see anything, so I guess we'll just have to wait and see, hopefully. Fingers crossed. As you can see, it's 58 degrees outside, 65 in here right now. Got my coffee stuff set up for the morning. Oh man, I booped. I'm gonna hit the hay.
last night I didn't see any crayfish and I haven't seen any this morning. So hopefully there's some in the trap, but it's not looking too promising so far. I got two. I got two little guys. Hmm. the trap out a little bit deeper see if I can get some more but I was really hoping to just pull that trap up today and have it full last time when I was here there was probably about a hundred crayfish that would come up here I want to see if we can make something happen if not it is still just really nice to be up here with the bug I got you. All right, well, I managed to catch one more. There's a lot of them out right now. Three crawdaddies, that's it. That's all we got so far. Well, I didn't bring a bread knife, imagine that. Hopefully, I can get through this thing. <laughs> oh no, this is a nightmare. This is a fresh sourdough from one of my local favorite places, the Scenic Cafe. I'm gonna have to go onto a more stable countertop, I think. I'm not sure. What do we do here? Oh. Welcome back to this episode of destroying a beautiful piece of bread. Let's try again. Oh, those chipmunks are gonna love me. So funny. Goat milk. Oh, dang it. I didn't realize this was a goat cheese. Too late now. I'm going to try to manage the uh, flame as best as I can. If you've ever cooked on a propane stove, it's not easy. Oh, I think we're pretty close to burning already. Just gonna go for it. Oh my God. This could very well end with the sandwich on the ground. It's like tilted this way. Uh, I can't take credit for the grilled mac and cheese and something that I found at like a state fair or something one time. Um, and throughout college, I used to make them uh, for my roommates and I after nights out at the bars. If uh, you're looking for a little hangover recipe, 
this is it. I don't drink anymore, but for those of you that do, for your health. The reason we put a lid on is so it like traps the moisture on the inside and uh, melts the cheese more. It's a little grilled cheese hack. Look at this. Grilled mac and cheese sandwich on some fresh local sourdough. Mmm, going in. It's so soft yet crunchy. You know how people make like lobster mac and cheese? I was planning on making like a crawfish mac and cheese sandwich, but we only got three little ones, so I thought might as well cook them up separately. And I can just place the meat on there and see what it would taste like. But see if I remember how to do this. Southern people are cringing right now. Ah, I messed it up. That's the piece of meat we got from that little dude. Crawfish mac and cheese sandwich. It's good. Hard to taste that little bit, bitty meat. These are the uh, the craw babies I got. You can see they're not they're not giants. Really wish I would have got some more, but hey, can't make Mother Nature do its thing. Craw daddy. Thanks again to Vita Fusion Gummy Vitamins for sponsoring this video. Well, that about do it for this episode. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Hopefully you liked it. As always, my name is Maverick, and you already know the drill. Just keep on trucking.